Okay, so we're going to do a video today to try to help you guys decide if you should buy a refrigerated trailer or a drive-in trailer. Now, the decision is um, going to be your decision, but we can try to kind of help you a little bit because a lot of people get stuck when they first start their trucking company or get into the trucking world. Um, they're very indecisive in regards to what trailer to buy. So one of the favorite methods that I use when I talk to people on the phone, I always tell them to think about your Walmart store. Now, there is a Walmart store everywhere in the United States. Um, seems like there is one at every exit, especially if you're in the state of Georgia. Um, inside your store, and basically what we did here was Googled inside of a Walmart store, the produce section of a Walmart store. If you look at the produce section, if you go inside the food area, anything that's going to be in this produce section, nine times out of ten, is going to come on a refrigerated trailer. And we're just going to look at a few pictures here. You know, all of this stuff that's in the refrigerator or freezer section, um, more than likely that comes on a refrigerated trailer. So if you look at your Walmart store, on the outskirts or everything and that's in the produce, your meat, your cheese, your milk, um, fruit, probably veggies, all of that will come on a, a refrigerated trailer. Now, a refrigerated trailer does pay more per mile, but you also have to take into consideration that you do have to put fuel in that reefer because that reefer now has a motor. So since it has a motor, that's something else you're going to have to get service. So that's going to be another expense. Yeah, you do make more money, but it's going to be another expense. Now, the rest of Walmart, let's say 75 to 80% is going to be your middle. Anything that's on a shelf can go on a drive-in. So your clothes, your um, cleaning supplies, um, bedding, bath everything else inside of walmart is going to go on a drive in now i do get where some people say um you know well a reefer is versatile because you can put drive in freight on a reefer and refrigerate it now to a certain point yes that is true depend it really depends on the commodity if you're at walmart and you're buying juice even though juice is on a shelf Technically, they can load that on a reefer. You know, they may not have to turn the reefer on, the unit on, or they can load it on a drive van. You're absolutely right. However, if you look in Walmart and you look at everything else Walmart sells, regardless, they're not going to put clothing on that reefer, even if it's cut off. The reason being is they don't know if, let's say that reefer have a leak in it, and you don't even know it has a leak. And they go to take those pallets off and the clothes are wet. Well, guess what? That's a claim. They're also not going to put any paper products. Any newspaper or paper products will not go on a reefer. So, you know, it's just precautions because you never know. Let's say the reefer starts leaking or anything happens, then it really is there to protect you from a claim. So, again, it really depends on the commodity. If it is juice, Yes, juice can go on a reefer trailer. It can also go on a drive-in trailer. Um, you know, it's really going to determine on that commodity whether it can go on there. So, yes, some dry goods can go on a reefer and, and a drive-in, and then some dry goods won't be drive-in only. Um, now, what we're going to do is look at some rates. And this website, you can go and... It, to it as well. It's just dat.com slash trendlines. Okay. So right now we're actually on the national rates. So we went to van and national rates. This basically shows you in the United States um, how much or the average that loads are going for for van loads. So let's say if you're in the Southeast region coming out of Atlanta, you're looking to get about maybe $2.09 a mile. Chicago about two fifteen, the Dallas a dollar seventy four, Philly about a dollar seventy one, in LA about two twelve. Now let's say if we want to go the southeast, let's click on it.
Yeah, about 209 for that. Okay, and these are van rates, and it's just an average. So, I mean, that's not to say you may not get a load that pays $2.50, or you may get a load that pay $1.80. They're taking the average, okay? So we're just going to go back a little bit, and we're going to click on reefer. And as you can see, they pay a little more. They don't have the Atlanta price, but Florida, the rates suck in Florida, okay? So you will get a good rate going into Florida, but coming out of Florida, you normally don't get that much, and you normally don't even get $1.27. It's normally about a dollar a mile coming out of Florida. Um, but these, you know, show you the reefer rate. So if you're coming out of Green Bay, you're looking at about $2.88. Cali area about two seventeen, and I know some reefers that get close to three dollars sometimes. Again, it really just depends. It just kind of give you a guide to kind of help you a little bit. Okay, so that is just something to think about when you're trying to compare which one you should do. I always give Walmart for an example. Think about everything that's on the floor in Walmart. All of that stuff could go on a drive in, even when you're checking out. Your gum, your candy, all of that stuff can go on a drive in. Um, canned goods, soda, everything. So if you look at the Walmart, anything that's in the produce and on the outskirts, your meat and your cheese will have to go on a reefer. And yes, some of the dry goods can go on a reefer, but it really just depends um, on what the commodity is. And then your other 10% is the lawn and garden. A uh, majority of that is going to be either flatbed or dry van. So like your mulch and wood chips, that could go on a flatbed or it can go on a dry van. Okay, so this video basically just gives you something to think about, to take in consideration if you're looking to purchase a reefer or a dry van. And, you know, starting out, a dry van is going to be cheaper to purchase. Um, it's going to be a lot cheaper than a reefer. So actually, we're going to go up here and we're going to search prices. So since we're in your 2017, we're going to look for a 2017 dry van. Okay, so we have commercial truck trader. The computer is a little bit slow, so I do apologize for that. We basically just want to see some prices. So a 2017 dry van is going for about $29.9. And you don't have to buy a brand new one. I mean, starting out, you want to do used, especially if you're new into trucking and, you know, you're getting your feet wet. Um, you want to keep your expensive to, expenses to a minimum. Now, this one for $7,235, that is only 28 feet. So don't get too happy or excited there. You want to at least have a 53-foot swing door, okay? So here we go, a 07 dry van is 10775 and that's going to be for a 53-foot, okay? So if you're getting something used, you can save a lot more money. You still have a lot of life in it. Um, so you're looking at about $10,000, and that's, you know, if you want to finance. And then again, if you're looking for a new one, maybe another, you know, 29.9 for that. So now we're going to search 2017 reefer. And again, the computer is very slow, so just bear with us. Okay, again, we're going to go to Commercial Truck Trader. That is the first result that came up. So, Alrighty, so they have a 2018. But as you can see, there's a big difference in price. So for this 2018, you're looking at 63.9. One for 65. Let's see what else, okay? Here's a 2017, 
four fifty eight five. Twenty seventeen for sixty. So a twenty seventeen drive in was only twenty nine. You know. Um and also with the reefer, yeah, you can make more money. It's a more, you know, more of an expense. You have a motor, you do have to put fuel in the reefer motor, um, in that reefer unit, and you have to get that unit service. So you make more money, but it's more of a expense. A drive in you can get for a lot cheaper. And, you know, 70% of the freight out there goes on the drive-in, 65 to 70%. So, you know, it's just something to really think about um, when you're trying to pick between the two. Let's see if we can find an 07. They have a 2012 for 29. So, you know, you had a 2017 drive-in for 29. Okay, well, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or, you know, you want us to make a video on any topic, you can email us info at bumblebeedispatch.com. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you.